The Hongdu L-15, proudly known as the Flying Lion, is a next-generation advanced trainer and light attack aircraft developed by the Hongdu Aviation Industry Group, HAIC, a subsidiary of the state-owned AVIC-2 Corporation in China. First unveiled in model form at the Aviation Expo in Beijing in 2001, the L-15 has since evolved into a sophisticated jet with modern avionics, supersonic capabilities, and multi-role functionality. Development and Early Prototypes In 2001, the L-15 concept was first introduced at the Aviation Expo in Beijing, displaying a sleek airframe with a trapezoidal wing, single vertical tail, side-mounted air intakes, and an enlarged bubble canopy to enhance pilot visibility. The aircraft was envisioned to achieve speeds of Mach 1.4 and serve both as an advanced jet trainer and a light combat aircraft capable of performing ground attack missions. By November 2002, at the International Air Show in Zhuhai, the L-15 model was showcased once again, accompanied by more detailed information. It was revealed that the aircraft would feature twin engines, either the Ukrainian AI-25 TLK or the Chinese WS-11 engines, each producing 3,500 kgf of thrust. The jet would also be equipped with a state-of-the-art multi-channel digital fly-by-wire FBW, system, a modern glass cockpit with multi-function liquid crystal displays MFDs, and a hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS, control system for superior pilot ergonomics. In 2003, during the MAKS Aviation Salon in Moscow, Russian aircraft manufacturer Yakovlev confirmed its involvement in the project, providing technical consulting services to HAIC and evaluating the feasibility of the L-15 supersonic flight characteristics. This collaboration, combined with China's increasing aerospace capabilities, propelled the project toward its first prototype. Maiden Flight and Initial Testing on September 23, 2005, the L-15 prototype was officially rolled out, marking a significant milestone in China's efforts to develop a domestically designed advanced trainer. Less than a year later, on March 13, 2006, the aircraft took to the skies for the first time, demonstrating promising flight characteristics. By mid-2007, the prototype had accumulated over 60 flight hours. A second prototype was dedicated to static tests, while third unit, fully equipped with its intended avionics, underwent further evaluations. At the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2006, the L-15 was presented with a grand spectacle, featuring a Western-style promotional event complete with speeches, an orchestra, balloons, and models posing alongside the aircraft. A significant breakthrough occurred in 2008 when the third prototype successfully completed its maiden flight on May 10th. By this time, reports indicated that the Chinese Air Force, PLAF, was considering the L-15 alongside another competitor, the FDC-2000. However, in April 2006, China's Ministry of Defense had already placed an initial order for four aircraft, signifying confidence in the L-15 program. Technical Specifications and Performance Crew, 2, Pilot and Instructor slash Copilot Maximum Speed, 1,486 km per hour Service Ceiling, 16,000 meters Wingspan 8.73 meters. Range, 3,000 kilometers. The L-15 features an aerodynamically optimized design with vortex-generating leading-edge extensions, LERX, to enhance maneuverability, particularly at high angles of attack. The wing is equipped with two-section slats and flaps to improve lift characteristics. Unlike the Yak-130, the L-15's trailing edge has an inverse sweep, providing additional stability at transonic speeds.
The aircraft is constructed primarily from aluminum alloys, ensuring a projected service life of 10,000 flight hours, equivalent to approximately 30 years of operational use. Enhanced Variants L-15 Lift and Export Potential in 2010, at the Zhuhai Air Show, AVIC unveiled an upgraded version of the aircraft, known as the L-15 Lift. This variant was equipped with afterburning engines sourced from Ukraine, featuring a full-authority digital engine control, FADEC system, an improved radar system, and an enhanced avionics suite. Notably, the L-15 Lift achieved its first flight on October 29th, 2010, just before the exhibition. The afterburning engines provided the aircraft with near 1 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, enabling supersonic flight. Developers claimed that the aircraft's climb rate and maneuverability were on par with Western fighter jets such as the F 16 and Mirage 2000. The L 15 was first showcased internationally at the MAKS. 2009 air show in Zukovsky, Russia, marking China's ambition to penetrate the global market with its homegrown trainer aircraft. One of the earliest potential customers was Ukraine, which expressed interest in co-producing the L-15 domestically, given that its engines were of Ukrainian origin. Comparison with Global Counterparts the L-15 competes with other advanced jet trainers, including the Russian Yak-130 and the South Korean KI-T-50. While the Yak-130 benefits from a longer operational history and direct Russian Air Force adoption, the L-15 distinguishes itself with its supersonic capability, making it an attractive option for countries seeking both training and light combat roles. Future Prospects As China continues to expand its defense exports, the L-15 stands poised to attract interest from developing nations in need of cost-effective, modern jet trainers. The aircraft's ability to transition seamlessly from training to light combat roles enhances its marketability, particularly in regions with limited defense budgets. With its growing presence in international air shows and increasing sales discussions, the Hongdu L-15 remains a significant milestone in China's aerospace industry, symbolizing its transition toward indigenous military aviation capabilities.